Hi, this is Matt Hagee. We're gonna do a leg workout. We're gonna hit the quadriceps, hamstrings, calves. While we're doing that leg workout, we're also gonna elevate our heart rate. We're gonna burn fat. We're also gonna incorporate working our biceps and our shoulders and targeting our core because if our core isn't tight, you know, we're not gonna be able to do those leg exercises. So let's get ready to burn fat. We're gonna be doing one minute intervals. We're doing six exercises. We're gonna be working our legs and burning fat. This is a little warm up to get our heart rate going, get a little sweat going. Pretend there's a box in the middle of your feet. Cross country ski forward, cross country ski backwards. Then bring your legs outside, then bring them back into that box. Doesn't matter if you get the pattern right or get the pattern wrong, we're just working on moving our legs apart, working our legs front to back. You'll start to feel the burn in your calves. It's good to help with lower leg injuries. It's also good to help get that heart rate elevated. Okay, we're halfway through, 30 seconds. Now we're gonna crisscross. Right leg in front of the left, left leg in front of the right. We'll just keep going back and forth. Make sure the area is clear below your feet. Okay, just keep crisscrossing back and forth. I'm not moving my arms, but if you wanna move your arms back and forth like a running pattern, that's, that's you can do that also. Good job. Keep going, keep going. You should be feeling the burn. You should start to be sweating a little bit now. Three, two, one. Nice job. Now we're going to kick our right foot to our left hand. Just keep kicking that right foot to the left hand. You don't have to do it as fast as I am. We're loosening that hamstring. Oh boy, here we go. Now I'm trying to kick my uh, left hand with my right foot. And then I'm trying to touch my left hand to my left toe. That's going to work your core. It's going to work your stabilizers. It's going to work that hamstring. My hamstrings are going to be sore from doing this by touching that toe. Okay, 30 seconds have gone by. Now we're going to take our left toe and kick our right hand. Our left toe is kicking our right hand. And if you want to try, you can kick that left toe and take your right hand and touch your right toe. That's a more advanced maneuver. I'm not doing it perfect, it's, it's very difficult, but you will feel that in your hamstrings. You are working the hamstrings when you do that. We're just trying to loosen up that hamstring a little bit. Good job, three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna, this looks similar, but we're crossing our foot over our body. It's gonna get more of the IT band. We're loosening up the, the hip a little bit differently. So I'm kicking my right toe to my left hand, but I'm crossing over my body. Uh, I'm gonna try to get more advanced here. After I do the kick, I'm gonna touch my left hand to my left toe. You will feel that in your hamstrings. Kick your right toe to your left hand, and then touch your left hand to your left toe. You'll definitely feel it in your hamstrings and you'll be working those abdominal muscles. Now we're going to do the other side. We're going to kick our left foot on an angle to our right hand. We're going to kick our left toe to our right hand. We're going to make it a little more complicated. Once you do the kick, reach your right hand to your right toe. That's more advanced. You don't have to do it. You want to work those hamstrings a little bit more. Go for it. We have about five seconds left. We're just trying to warm up and get our hamstrings loose. Okay, this is a little bit more basic, but you will definitely feel it in your butt. We're doing squats, and I'm just holding the weight over my shoulders. If you want to go a little bit heavier, you're welcome to. But we're going to be doing one minute. It's going to be a lot of repetitions, so you will eventually get sore, and we have a lot of squats in this workout. I'm going down to more of a full squat. I'm getting parallel right there. My chin is up. But you can just go to a quarter squat. Right there's a quarter squat. Quarter squat. That's fine. Or you can hold it. You can hold it right there in that quarter squat. Or you can hold it for that full squat. I like doing the full squat because it really gets those muscle fibers moving across each other. And I feel the burn from this. It's a great way to build your butt muscles and to build those quadriceps. It's a great, great exercise. Good job. Keep it up. You're doing great. You're doing great. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You've got about five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, well, since I like squats so much, we might as well do them again. I squat down, then I do a bicep curl, and then I do a military press. So squat, bicep curl, military press. If you want to use heavier weight, go for it. If you want to drop the weights, you're welcome to do so as well. If you can't bring your hands all the way down to the ground, that's fine. Just go, go halfway down. Work those biceps, work the military press, work those shoulders. Good job. Keep it up. Nice job. And for about 30 seconds, halfway through, you should feel that sweat. You should feel get a little workout going on. 
Like I said, if you don't want to go all the way down with the squat, it's hard. You don't have to. Remember the squat, you're keeping your chin up. By keeping your chin up, you're keeping your spine in alignment. That's a great way to keep your spine in alignment. My legs are further than shoulder width apart. My heels are flat on the ground. Sometimes I can even curl my toes in my shoes to make sure my heels stay flat on the ground. All right, good job. Now we're doing deadlifts with reverse curls. Remember, your back is flat, your chin is up once again. Fold at, the, fold at your hips. Okay, we're not bending our spine, we're folding at the hips, and our knees are slightly bent. Our knees are slightly bent, they are not locked. They're not perfectly straight, they're slightly bent. About 30 seconds have gone by, and once again, we're working our bicep curls into our military press. You will feel this exercise in your hamstrings tomorrow. If you can't go all the way down to the ground, that's fine. Go halfway. That's a good way to modify it. If the weight's too heavy, sometimes the weight makes you fold in the back because it's a little too heavy. So put the weight down and do it with no weight. If you really want to get tricky, lift one foot up and do one leg at a time. That's going to work your core, uh, but that's a lot more advanced. That's hard to do. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're just going to squat down, put our weights over our shoulders or over our knees, and I'm just moving at my calves. I'm moving at that ankle joint. Okay, I'm just driving my ankles up. I'm in a squat, and if you're getting in a full squat is hard, go to a quarter squat. My chest is over my knees. Good job. Keep going. You can do it. Oh, you should feel the burn. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Good. Keep it up. You want it to burn. That burn's a good feeling. It's making you stronger. Good, and if it's too hard to squat like that, then go and stand up and then work those calves. Keep working it. Pulse those calves. Pulse those calves. Nice job. Keep working, keep working. Feel the burn. The burn is a good thing. Wow, we're almost done with this workout. We have about 15 seconds left. We've worked our quadriceps, our butt. We've worked our hamstrings. We've worked our calves. We've stretched them. It's been a great workout. Good job. If you want to do more, start it over. Do it again. I'm proud of you. Nice job. I realize my videos are five to 10 minutes long, but that gives you the opportunity to work really hard for five, ten, five minutes, get the burn. Work really hard for 10 minutes, then get the burn. Then you can take a break, and go back online and pick another video. So if you wanna do legs for five minutes and biceps for five minutes, you can do that with my videos. If you wanna do legs for, for five minutes and you wanna do your, your abs for six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 minutes, then you can do that. So you get to choose which body parts you wanna work out for that day. You maybe only have five, 10 minutes to get a workout in. Take a five, 10 minute video and get a burn and really feel it. I guarantee you this, after you do my workout, you'll feel it the next day and the day after. Thanks for working out with me. Take a break and do another video or stretch or be done. Either way, I'm proud of you. Nice job. If you like the video, then please share me on Facebook, subscribe to me on YouTube, or retweet me. Hard work pays off.